Welcome back. To recap, the Dow is down today, 1,032 points. It is in correction territory. We're going to continue the conversation with Trump Organization Executive Vice President Eric Trump. Uh, we were talking at the before the break, Eric, about your father and um, you know his, the, how he's being heavily criticized for his approach, his demeanor, his tweets. Uh, he's combative at times. Does that hurt him politically? No, I don't think so. I, I think, quite frankly, maybe the exact opposite. I, you know, I think people wanted a fighter in there, and so that's what they got. But they didn't want a stodgy politician who, you know, rehearses sound bites over and over and over. And you know, I mean, you know, you might not always like his methods, but you know, I don't think anybody can argue that that he's not incredibly effective. And he's been incredibly yeah. effective with the economy. He's been incredibly effective with just about everything that he's done. Look at look at ISIS, right? They used to have forty thousand fighters, and now they're down to under a thousand. And um, you know, it's because they took a New approach and a very hard line, no nonsense approach, and um, you know it, it works. So, again, you might not always like you know the way he might deliver something. I, many people do, and I think, quite frankly, it's the exact reason he won. Um, but no one can argue that the man's not incredibly effective yeah. and has done you know more for this country in a very short period of time than many politicians have done over the last two decades. You know, Eric, you and your family were not in politics, and then you all go down to D.C. Can you tell the viewer what you saw? Can you explain to us and the viewer what you saw and what it felt like about how firsthand how you saw government operating? What what did you see? Yeah, well, you know, it's interesting. Was I, you know, I've, I I wall myself off purposely because I run the business. I run all our you know hotels and golf courses and commercial buildings and everything else. Um, but it, uh, you know, it is it is a beast. Government is is a beast. It's, it's certainly inefficient. I'm not telling you anything that that they don't know. Um, there's certainly tremendous, um, you know, waste, um, you know, fraud, abuse. You, you see so many of the unnecessary fights where people people fight for the sake of fighting. They're not they're not fighting because they want to deliver results to to all of us as citizens. They're fighting because, you know, that's the sport of politics. And um, you know, so oftentimes it's it's unhealthy, and so oftentimes it works. Um, against all of us and, and really against the country. And, um, you know, that's why he's done as much as he has to try and, you know, not, not to be cheesy, but to, to drain that swamp. I mean, he's, he's tried to get rid of bureaucracy. He's tried to get rid of nonsense. Um, you know, he's, um, you know he's, he's cut tremendous waste from so many programs. Look at the, you know, look, look at the F-35 program and, the, you know, the, the, the billions he saved on the F-35 program. I mean, look at Air Force One. And how we went in, canceled the contract, and renegotiated that because, you know, he felt that we were getting totally ripped off. And, you know, a lot of that has to be done. And quite frankly, look at what he's done again on the regulations. I mentioned it before, but he's, you know, reduced about 30 percent of the regulations. And for every one new regulation that comes in, um, you have to eliminate two others. And so um, no different than any good business person out there. He's really trying to streamline this government because, you know, it, it was too big. It was too bureaucratic. It didn't move fast. Um, and all of those things made it inefficient, and all of those things, quite frankly, as taxpayers, cost us all money. Yeah, Eric, switching gears to the claims of political bias at the FBI, I'd like to read you one of the recently released text messages between FBI officials Lisa Page and Peter Strzok. They both served in the Russia collusion investigation, also on the Hillary. Uh, Peter Strzok worked on the Hillary Clinton email probe. Uh, Page writes regarding President Obama saying, quote, POTUS wants to know everything we're doing. Now, given the timing of this, the reports indicate that the text was about President Obama, who's about to go to the G20 and wanted to be briefed on Russian meddling. But tell us, what's your reaction to the claims of surveillance of the Trump campaign and these FBI texts? You know, listen, I think it's horrible. Um, I, I think it's horrible. I think it's something that should really concern all, all Americans. And, you know, I mean, here a political adversary created a slanderous memo uh, that they gave to the FBI, that the FBI ultimately used to, you know, spy on a campaign um, uh, that created a narrative that was total nonsense. Um, and quite frankly, that's caused the American people, cost the American people, you know, millions and millions and millions of dollars, you know, between the investigative work, between lost time, between, you know, I mean, it's, it, it's, not, it's not a healthy thing. And, you know, it's kind of funny how it's backfiring on them. I mean, you saw that tweet that, quite frankly, the one that you just read where, you know, um, not too long ago, you had Obama saying, "I had never, you know, once spoken to the FBI. I never, I never ever spoke to them about any ongoing investigation." Yet you have these two characters going back and forth in in text messages, um, quite frankly, um, asserting the exact opposite of what President Obama was was saying. But just go back in time, you know, between Loretta Lynch on an airplane with Bill Clinton. I mean, look how awful that looks, and you know, look at so many of the things with 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 Comey, and look at so many of the lies and. 
you know, leaking classified memos and leaking notes to, you know, reporters at the New York Times uh, to serve your own interests. And it's disgusting what happened at the highest levels there. And, um, and my father said it best a couple weeks ago that people should be ashamed of themselves. And, um, you know, the citizens of this country deserve better. But it's really backfiring on them. And the Democrats use the Russian narrative um, for one purpose. They lost an election badly, one that they probably should have won because they outspent us, you know, seven to one. Um, and, you know, they need an excuse to blame it on. And, um, you know, sure enough, this uh, the excuse that they found is now backfiring on them. So um, it, it's sad, though, Liz. I mean, it's really, really sad. Eric Trump, we love having you on the show. Great insights there. Thanks for coming on.